Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at column wrapping. So this isn't necessarily particular code that you implement on top of what you will already have in terms of containers, rows, columns. But if you remember, the grid system on each particular line has 12 spaces, which adjust in size depending on whether you're on your extra, extra large, extra large, large, medium, small, or extra small. But what happens, because we put a column of two, call two, call two, this is the same if you specify a breakpoint like dash, same dash, you know, whatever. The principle is the same. But what happens if we go over the 12 limit? So if I put 11 here, for example, so you 2 plus 11 is 13. Therefore, this can't go on this line. So what would happen? This is what happens. This is 2, and there's a maximum of 12 on this particular line. So that means there's 10 left. This one is 11, so you can't fit on this line because it requires one more than that is available. On this line, there's only one left, one little grid space, you know, on this line. And this requires two, so this one also gets bumped down as well. But watch what happens if, let's say, I put this up to four, and I put this at uh, nine. So it's still at 13. What happens is this is four, this is nine, so this can't fit on the remaining eight grid spaces. We get nine here, but there's three grid spaces left, therefore this column three, which has two grid spaces, can fit there. That's it, that's literally all there is to column wrapping, it's something that happens automatically, just something to bear in mind. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. The code from this and all the other videos will be on the GitHub page, there'll be a link to that in the description. There'll be ways to contact me as well, you know, email, my learning website, Discord, all that stuff. So feel free to hit me up. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.